Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got a little stage for you. Mm -hmm. If you have sound sensitivity, please turn your volume down now. I'm going to ring the singing bowl, kind of open everything up a little bit. For being here everybody if you're new to the channel my name is Lori my little dog is Toby he's outside running around I'm sure he'll be back at some point let us tap right in and see what storyline spirit would like to share with you this afternoon thanks for being here mm -hmm. hope you had a great day great night whatever time it is that you're here Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy, what storyline would you like to share with the collective? Please, spirit. Collective energy, please. Collective energy, please, spirit. In the central energy, in the central energy, we've got the five of swords in the upright. So there could be conflict. It could be that somebody has been defeated in a conflict. There could be some kind of abuse going on. Anger, challenged by Knight of Cups, challenged by somebody, um, somebody's romantic proposal, or somebody's um, somebody following their heart regarding love. In the subconscious, in the subconscious, you've got the Four of Cups. So, um, this person, <clears throat> they're 
they're not wanting the cup that is being offered them. They want what this Knight of Cups has, but that's not the cup that they're being offered. And there is a Ten of Pentacles here. So there is wealth here, an inheritance of some sort. It could belong to this Knight of Cups. And whoever this is, is upset because they're not being offered the Ten of Pentacles here that belongs to this Knight of Cups. They're like, I don't want that. I want the Ten of Pentacles. But this Knight of Cups is following their heart and taking their love somewhere else. In the recent past. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Somebody didn't grow. They're very impatient. They're lazy. Not willing to work for anything. Expect everything to be handed to them. <clears throat> Intentions and expectations. They were expecting your Nine of Cups. This person wanted your Ten of Pentacles and your Nine of Cups. <laughs> but you're taking it elsewhere. In the near future. <clears throat> In the near future, we've got the King of Pentacles, a successful businessman, provider, the lens that's being looked through. Is the Three of Cups. So there's celebration, there's joy, In the environment, we've got the sun. So yeah, celebration and joy, and this sunny um, celebration again. You got celebration, celebration, which is leaving somebody in a five of cups upright. They're disappointed. They're very much in regret. It's like I don't know what they were fighting with you about. They they wanted your they wanted your ten of pentacles. What's up with this? And your Nine of Cups, but they're lazy and they don't work for nothing. In the outcome, well, this came out. Oh, I had them upside down. Uh, this one was the only one. Well, I have to do that again because I had the deck upside down and I don't want to get it wrong. Except I can't take this either because that's a whole crap load of cards. Except maybe I should. I don't know. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. So they got the King of Pentacles in the near future. You've got the Queen of Pentacles in the outcome here. So you got this is a mother-father figure watching the money, um, watching the inheritances uh, to make sure that none of these um, scammers, these lazy low-level low or low-light scammers um, take part in it. The wheel is turning here as they're doing this. There could be a magician making a sacrifice here um, with the hanged man. And that has um, people perhaps in fear those who are in illusions and delusions, perhaps they're in fear because these things are being let go. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So that's wonderful. A stable, new, abundant um, situation is coming in with this Four of Wands, with this wedding. The Earth Angels balance so there could be a wedding that's happening for an earth angel that is bringing in stability and abundance regarding um the home um the home base you know the home situation the foundation and it's beautiful because, um, well, this King of Swords is bringing a tower 
to um, these ones who are lazy and they're expecting people to just give them their reward and they're being disappointed and they're um, having to walk away from this and they're they've got all these burdens that they're having to carry because a light has been shined on the truth here there's a group well you're successful so the light you're shining a light on stuff which which gives you foresight into um, codependency into this codependent situation so you're shining a light um, you see this here this is wild <clears throat> five of swords somebody's here really upset that the knight of cups is following their heart and taking their ten of pentacles and their nine of cups elsewhere and they're here in a, in defu in a in defeat having a negative outlook, lazy and disappointed. Whoever it is, this Knight of Cups is on to them. He knows what they're up to and they, and they have to walk away. They're in regret. They didn't get chosen. They're not chosen. They weren't chosen. The Knight of Cups didn't choose them. They're taking their love cup somewhere else. You know, wealth isn't all about the pentacles, you know, and the pentacles aren't always about money. Oh, goodness, excuse me. <clears throat> third party third party abuser third party abuser in defeat and challenged because this knight of cups is taking his love elsewhere following their heart they got a romantic proposal for somebody else They didn't get a soul contract with this Knight of Cups. He's on to them. He knows they're a third party hoe bag. So he's like, no, I'm taking this and you, you got this. This is yours and I've got this. And so that's what's going on. There's a separation happening here. They're, this third party isn't, isn't happy. They're having a very negative outlook with secrets, see? They got secrets and then and this um they got secrets. They were coming after this person's inheritance, their ten of pentacles. The secret is they were coming after this person's fortune. They're lazy, no good for nothing, don't want to work, probably have a serious freaking attitude problem. While acting sweet and on the inside being this little you know, I don't know. I've met a lot of pretty faces that were just ugly on the inside. So there's unfinished business. They, there's a lack of growth. They don't work for nothing. They don't earn anything. They don't have anything of value to offer anybody. There's unfinished business here, or they feel there's unfinished business, or maybe there is unfinished business. Intentions and expectations. See, they're expecting you to be wealthy. They wanted to take part in it. They were um, trying to use passion. But I think that these people are aware now that um, these, these lazy, no good for nothing, um, can't work for nothing, they have low light levels, right? So they're low vibrational, snotty, lazy. There's no life spark in them right so they don't have anything to offer this love cup it what does he want to pour himself into he want to pour himself into a dead seed no i don't think so he wants to grow his love cup
So they went to escape. They were trying to escape and they were trying to escape using this person's money. King of Pentacles is here in the near future regarding wealth. Somebody missed their opportunity. They're wanting to escape. They missed their opportunity. They couldn't get a, a contract with this Knight of Cups. So they missed their opportunity. King of Pentacles is here, perhaps um, guiding this Knight of Cups so that they um, hope, aren't tricked into choosing a low vibrational um, soul sucker, you know, that's going to come and suck the love and the pentacles out of his life and destroy his future with their lazy, greedy self. So there is, there is a celebration here. There's something's unappreciated. Somebody feels unappreciated. They feel like you don't care. You care about yourself. You care about where you're going to pour your love in. What you're going to pour your love in. You don't want to pour it into a dead, stagnant pool that's going to just grow, you know, mosquito larva. You want this sun. You want something that's vibrant and that's going to grow abundantly. And there's no forgiveness. It could be that you were lied to. It could be that they didn't appreciate you. And they lied to you. And there's no forgiveness because they only wanted your money. And now they're, they're in disappointment and regret because you walked away. You're taking your love cup and you're moving on. It could be that this person is very low level, low light, low light. So there's not a lot of vitality there. So if this Knight of Cups wants to pour his seed or his love into a low light shadowy thing, it's all just going to be swallowed up in a black hole and it's not going to give back any production, right? It's not going to grow. So they're paying attention to where they're applying um, their stuff. And they're thinking, this is an unexpected outcome. They really thought that they had you bamboozled and that you would just go for it. There is, um, you want to have equal give and take. You don't want some lazy black hole, you know, soul sucker sucking up all your love cups and all your pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is here turning the wheel on this and the magician is here um, um, creating a situation of release for the moon energy. So they're re he's, he's releasing the illusion. This magician is releasing the illusion. Now, however that could be, it could be that um, there is something be happening in the collective field, maybe, of awareness. So the illusion is is shattering. He's he's doing something here with the hanged man regarding the illusion, and it's really helping um, these knights regarding their love cup. He's making things clear. Offering a new perspective. <clears throat> he's, he's removing the confusion. He's clearing up the illusion and he's removing the confusion. And it looks like this Knight of Cups has been made aware that this person was a third party, um, I guess, low light individual who was just trying to, you know, like a black hole, trying to suck up the, um, the wealth out of this person here. And this person um, is an irreplaceable person who wants a family, who has hope for, a, for an irreplaceable person in their life and a family. 
And this third party was coming in trying to suck up this person's nine of cups and ten of pentacles. And the magician is here um, releasing the illusion, shattering the illusion with this hanged man. And, and, and deleting, eliminating the confusion regarding where the love cup needs to be applied. There's an understanding that this person is guilty of neglect. And they're chasing after this person feeling broken and shattered using sex. But he could have, he could have, um, yeah, trying to gain a commitment because they wanted to run away from the things that they are overwhelmed by, their stresses, and they wanted this person's money and their and their love cups to, their ability to self-love, to fix it for them. So this was a dangerous situation that it looks like he barely made it out of. I'm very, very happy that the uh, magician has been able to crack this illusion and um, eliminate the confusion in the regard of where these these youngsters should pour their love into what they should focus on you know and not get snagged or trapped by um, one of these that is constantly just exposing their womb to multiple parties multiple energies you know, um, polluting their creator, the creator light of their womb, you know. And so this person wants a family. And they, they need a womb that's not polluted. They need a mother's womb that isn't polluted because they have, they have this in mind, you know, a child. And they need a, a, a womb that is fertile and has purity. He's a valuable fellow. He's got ten pentacles and a nine of cups. Of course, he's going to be targeted by. But fortunately, fortunately, the the they have um, awareness now. That's good. That makes me happy. Yeah, see, because he's an abundant, limitless being. He doesn't need to get hooked up with a black hole. He deserves more than that. He deserves better than that. And so does his offspring. So he did not accept this person. This third party. There's no acceptance there. There's no soul contract. He's got he's following his heart. He's giving his proposal to somebody else. imagination in the reverse so they can't um they're they can't he's not even thinking about it he's not even considering it this person doesn't know what to do this third party person they have they're having a negative outlook now because they're not being offered what they want but they've got a lot of secrets. They were in it for the inheritance. They wanted this person's inheritance. They wanted the fortune. This is the way they do it. They go out and they target people. Yeah, and they're courageous, see? This person, this knight is courageous. 
They've got 10 pentacles. They've got nine of cups. They've got this courage. They've got this beautiful, sensitive love. That this person was a target by this third party. This lazy, greedy, immature, hasn't grown or done any of their own personal work. They're impatient and insistent, demanding, entitled. They're entitled. This is an entitled person. There's no substance to them. Failure. <laughs> they still feel that there's unfinished business here. Perhaps there is. They want to escape. They, You've got this nine of cups here, this wealth. Perhaps it is you that's got unfinished business here. Uh, how am I supposed to pick that up this way? Loneliness. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. And this person who targeted you for your inheritance missed their opportunity. You've got the King of Pentacles here watching over you, making sure you're not going to get bamboozled by a leech. And they're worried. They're worried. They miss their opportunity and they're worried because they can't suck off your cup. And you are here in a three of cups celebration. Whoo, you missed that one. They didn't appreciate you at all. You missed out on that one. It narrowly escaped. adversity they didn't appreciate you they wanted to bring you adversity and maybe they did because this is conflict this is abuse this is an abusive situation with a third party who didn't want to accept the fact that you don't want to contract with them you're not even thinking about them you know that they didn't appreciate you they kept bringing challenges your way messing messing with your happiness but here you are smiling big. You got big, big smiles going on. You are so happy. You, you, you got out of that mess and you're not forgiving it. It's like, no, there is no forgiveness here because you, it was a big lie. It was a scam. They tried to scam you out of your lively, out of your life, out of your essence, out of your livelihood, out of the life of your children. And their opportunity to, to um, benefit from your nine of cups and your ten of pentacles. They wanted to come in and drain it and siphon it out of you so that it would not benefit your family. They wanted it for themselves. This person. Is sad and in regret because you want an equal give and take and they were just a black hole. Sucking the life out of you. <clears throat> and obviously sucking the life out of whomever, you know, else happened to be on the menu. Mm. There's no forgiveness. We got blame here, but it also says I have to accept responsibility for my own well-being. So... There's no forgiveness. They were trying to blame you for the responsibility of their own well-being. They wanted you to take care of them and to put up with all their crap. Well... 
So they're disappointed, they're in regret. This is an unexpected outcome. Yeah, see, they didn't appreciate you. They brought adversity to you. They're not grateful for anything. This reciprocity, this could mean not only that you want an equal give and take, but that they are receiving everything that they gave. So maybe they gave conflict and abuse, and maybe they were um, impatient, you know, and demanding, bringing you this adversity, challenging you all the time, messing with your head. And so now it could be that all that's happening to them and they want forgiveness, but there's no forgiveness. See, they have to accept the blame for and responsibility for their own well-being. They can't just go and find somebody that's got a cash cow and say, Oh, I'm sweet. I'm pretty. I can pretend that I am likable until I get hooked in and then I can just be whatever, you know? Queen of Pentacles is here, turning that wheel of destiny. You could, you could have King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. They're here in, in working in tandem with this magician. It could be that they are magicians working this wheel. And they're um, shining a light on with this hanged man. They're shining a light or releasing something, information or knowledge that, that gives people a new perspective on the moon on these things that have been hidden by these third parties. So he, there's a new bit of information that shines light on these things that have been hidden regarding third will enemies, and it has cleared up the confusion in that regard. So these young knights who have all this love and all these pentacles, they now know they now know what to look for. Who's a third party hoe bag, you know, with very little creator light in their womb, and who is actually worth planting their seed into. And they're free of the illusion. They're free of the confusion, and they know exactly um, what kind of garden they're looking for now. It's not about, it's not about these um, pretty hats and pretty dresses and, you know, whatever else they got to offer. Okay, because they're, they're not, they're, they're lazy and they're greedy and they don't work. So I don't know, I don't know what they could have to offer somebody that has nine cups and ten pentacles and a whole lot of sensitive romance to offer. I don't know what this person could offer. They're not even grateful for anything. They don't appreciate anything. So the magician <clears throat> could be here. Maybe the magician is um, uh, <clears throat> working with the king and queen of pentacles. Maybe the king and queen of pentacles are magicians. Maybe this is a family that's working to um, clear up the the mind when it comes to these illusions yeah they're clearing up the confusion and freeing people from the illusion and the confusion i'm so pleased so because there's opportunity for growth for expanding in consciousness and awareness so this has happened the magician has released the illusion and cleared up the confusion regarding regarding um, the fertile soul soils of the womb and who sh they um, might want to consider planting their seed into there's a pride card here but in this pride card it says i love myself and i see myself in everyone and it could be that this person has they're, they, it's a, it's a, they love themselves. See this, this person, 
I'm not reading that card pride as as like an arrogant pride. This is more like they love themselves. They have a healthy self-love. They feel good when they can help others, but they don't want to be pouring into a black hole with no return either, right? They, they're open to seeing both sides of a situation. They have empathy and they have an understanding now. And they're denying that. Which um, will affect their balance and their health. You know, that who tries to interject fear or some, some sort of grief. Or maybe because they're looking after their health and their balance their inner harmony and their harmony throughout the family that they're going to create. You know, they don't want imbalance. They don't want this person coming in and bringing imbalance. You know, draining their love cup, spending their pentacles, spreading their legs for other people, you know, having a barren womb. These people know what's going on. They're, they're in fear and then they're in grief because you possess gifts of the soul that benefit yourself and others. And they're in regret because they've been trying to bamboozle you without appreciation, without gratitude. And they're under judgment. And there's a change here that they're in doubt, for, in doubt of. You're an abundant, limitless being. You're coming into your purpose. You're at peace. And this um, King, Queen of Swords, I mean, King, Queen of Pentacles, and this magician has cleared up the illusion regarding, um, this is so good, regarding third-party hoe bags and those who are irreplaceable. They know what they're looking for now. They know what they're looking for when they, when they choose a wife or a husband. When they choose those fertile soils, they want to pour their love cup into, their pentacles into, you know, that which they wish to create with. I'm so happy. He has busted the illusion wide freaking open. Eliminated the confusion in that regard. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they will have opportunity to pour, pour themselves into a, a fertile garden of, of abundance, of abundance that will help them grow and expand rather than just drain them of everything that they have so happy that really makes me happy it's important they're not relaxed they can't relax they didn't get accepted. This third party was bringing um, a fight, abuse. They were abusive. This third party, they did not get accepted by this Knight of Cups. They can't relax. They're all freaking out. Because this Knight of Cups doesn't even want them. He's like, I don't want a soul contract with you. As a matter of fact, I don't want to think about you at all. He found out they were a third party hoe bag who was just after his inheritance. They're not gonna get his adventure. It's like, he's like, get out of here. I don't want you in my mind. I don't want you in my adventure. I don't want you in my life. With, there's no soul contract, no thought, and no fun offered, no passion, nothing. Now they're having a very negative outlook and they're furious because he's he's taken this courage and this wealth abundance somewhere else. He's taken it and he's going somewhere else. Oh, they're furious. Oh, they're furious because they didn't win and they're out of time. 
They're furious because they did not win a contract with this Knight of Cups. <laughs> they couldn't take his inheritance from him. <laughs> and they're out of time. He's, he's got his courage. He's got his wealth. He's got all of his love cups. And he's okay. This lazy, impatient, immature, greedy person failed. They failed to vampire this young man out of his wealth and abundance, out of his love, out of his sensitive love. Fate. They can't take part in the fate of this one. There's unfinished business here. Um, it's not a fated thing. They don't get to take part in this person's fate. They want to escape. This person's not alone. They're not alone here. This king of pentacles and, um, and this magician is here guiding this young man. Making sure that he doesn't um, get taken advantage of by a, by a black hole with a pretty face. Because he's high value. He's high freaking value. Okay. And these fellas are here making sure that he doesn't get led astray. Which is very good. He's got some guides helping him. See, and he loves himself. He has an abundance of self-love. He loves himself. So he pours into himself. He's very, he has a very good, very good outlook on life. He's a high value person. And oh, he got he almost got snared by this one. But they came in at the nick of time. Oh, they're letting everybody know. This is what you need to look at. Clearing it up, clearing it up. And these little mask wearers are being stopped. <laughs> escape they can't they can't freaking come in and leech off of these young loves you know these innocent sensitive romantic you know th who who has this in mind who has this in mind they can't come in and take advantage of the idea this young man wants this and this third party little hoe bag came in wearing this trying to take advantage of his inheritance, trying to escape their fate because they didn't earn anything. They didn't work for anything. And they're lazy. They're greedy. They're abusive. Origin, vitality. They miss their opportunity and they're worried because they don't get to make a family tree with you. They don't have any vitality. They can't take part in your vitality. This Knight of Cups is the vital source that this black hole wanted to feed on. And the Knight of Pentacles is here saying, Hello, son. Let me clear a few things up for you. And there's a celebration. Because they have discovered that this person didn't appreciate anything about them. And their plan was to bring adversity to their life. <laughs> Blessing. So there's an enlightenment here. You are the blessing, Knight of Cups. And they didn't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate you. You're the sun, so you've got the you got this celebration, this joy, and there's no forgiveness here. They have to accept responsibility for their own well-being and they're in danger. Because I don't know what they were doing, but they did something. 
it could be that they're um, they're they have to use caution. They're in a five of cups. Sadness and regret. It was an unexpected outcome. They don't have any gratitude for anything. It could be that they're receiving reciprocity. Ah, oh, they fell into a trap. They fell into a trap that they had prepared for this Knight of Cups. They were going to get in with this Knight of Cups and they were going to drain them for everything they had and leave them behind. And now they fell into a trap and they're getting what they intended for this night. And they want forgiveness because the Queen of Pentacles is here turning that wheel and the Magician is here um, we're um, releasing information or insight or something that gives people a new perspective over this moon energy what things that were hidden this um, this stuff that was hidden so they were coming in pretending to be that which was going to be a family only so they could drain the wealth out and this magician cleared it up and they've gained their freedom Woo! there's no confusion here they're lucky. It's your lucky day. Yes, sir. You have been given the jackpot of freedom. They fell into their own damn trap, and now they're the ones who are going to be homeless. See, they wanted to come in here and take that ten of pentacles, take that nine of cups, perhaps marry this knight, and then at some point divorce them and, t and drain them for everything they had. This person's brutal. And they want to escape because their evil plan was stopped. And now they're, they're facing homelessness. They're being cast away because this young man was shown a kindness, given aid. The illusion was cleared. And the confusion was, he's a sweetheart. And they were trying to rob him. This third wheel enemy thought it was a great idea to come after somebody who had earned great merit and reward. Using knowledge that they were taught now they're in a nightmare and they're very frightened they're in a risky situation and they're sick over it they were trying to hurt this young man this young beautiful loving person this beautiful love sensitive love this mask wearing third party enemy was gonna destroy this person. And they're furious because they didn't triumph. They're furious because they didn't triumph. And they're out of time. What an a-hole. I can't stand people like that. I can't stand people who just are so bitter and lazy and cruel. Bitter and lazy and cruel. And demanding and expecting. Bitter and lazy and cruel. And filthy. Spreading their legs for whatever comes along. For a buck. Or for some status that advancement or whatever <laughs> now they know Merchant in the reverse. 
She can't pay a merchant. She owes a merchant. She made a deal with a merchant, but she wasn't able to get a soul contract with this Knight of Cups and gain access to his inheritance, his Ten of Pentacles, his Nine of Cups. She wasn't able to do the dirty deed. They owe a merchant now. This merchant's here. Enemy. They're seen as an enemy. This Knight of Cups did not give them a soul contract. Didn't They're not even thinking about them. It could be that they've been cut out of their imagination altogether. They're an enemy. And they're not getting their... There's no passion. There's no travel. There's no adventure with this one. They're like... They got cut off. And they're furious about it. They are seen for who they are. Their secrets have been exposed... Their secrets have been exposed. They're a third-party hoe. And this person, this uh, Knight of Cups, he's got his Ten of Pentacles. He's very courageous. He has strength to find to to move beyond fear. He's a he's a good catch. And he's happy. He's a great catch. Targeted by a black hole that had that has a, a deal with a merchant regarding what? Energy, money, happiness. They're not able to provide a service because they didn't get a soul contract with this one. So whatever service that they had promised this merchant, they're not able to provide it. And now um, they got issues because they failed this lazy greedy low level immaturity was not able to latch on and leech and parasite off of this very good prospect of a of a husband or a wife whatever you want to do with that uh, genders but this happens to be a knight old woman there's unfinished business with an old woman they could not steal the fate of this knight of cups there's this old woman keeps popping up regarding um destiny stealing re stealing the fates of people who have money and wealth using these mask wearing little hoes what is this people are talking about this Lots of conversation going on. And they can't steal. They can't steal anymore because people can see what they are. They can see what they are. The magician has blasted apart the illusion and eliminated all confusion regarding the difference between third parties and those who are irreplaceable. Regarding the, the prospect, regarding who it is that you want to offer your love cups and your pentacles to, and your seed, who you want to create a family with. This is wonderful news. I'm so glad that this illusion has been busted. I'm so glad that there has been information shown and made aware that these younger, beautiful um, future husbands of future wives are not going to be sucked in by this illusion. I'm really happy about it. The Lord in reverse. The Lord in reverse. This person isn't part of the Lord's family. Third party hoe bags aren't part of the Lord's family. They don't they don't um, believe in the Lord. They don't follow the Lord. They don't try to be um, the best that they can be. You know, walk in um, integrity and morality and righteousness. They don't do that. They don't follow the um, moral code of, you know, 
They're just nasty. And they're in sorrow because they didn't appreciate this person, this knight, and they were just trying to bring adversity to him. And there's a celebration here because um, they they were they're not able to um, they missed their opportunity to snatch this person's vitality away. He was saved. He was saved. From a life of misery by a black hole trying to steal his fate so there's joy there's success there's celebration here we got celebration twice three of cups and the sun because there's no wedding he didn't marry the third party hoe bag <laughs> there's no forgiveness he found out that she was a third party hoe bag and now they're in danger because, and in regret, because he found out they need consolation. Whatever they did, I don't know what they did with this old woman trying to steal the fate of this person, but it failed. It was stopped. They need consolation. They're in a five of cups energy, disappointed, sad, and regret, unexpected outcome. They weren't, they didn't have gratitude for anything and they fell into the trap. So the reciprocity, what they meant for this young man is what they're getting. They have totally screwed themselves because they didn't have anything to begin with. priest there could be a priest that wants forgiveness and I don't know if this um, third party has talked who taught them how to do this there could be a priest that has been exposed Working with this old woman, trying to steal the fate of this young man. There could be some information here that has been brought to light because the illusion has been shattered. The illusion has been shattered regarding these pleasure seekers. Trying to hijack this young man's life and reward. Take, steal his very happiness and prospect of having a beautiful family tree and legacy. So the messenger of hope. Messenger of hope, innocent reunion, or there could be a reunion that will result in a child with a sweetheart friend, and it will be love out of love. Hmm. Messenger of hope, or hope you were hoping for a message? There's a messenger. There's a messenger. So there's a hope for a message about a reunion. There's a child with a sweetheart who is a friend of love. <sighs> and this soldier is a widower. Oh, and this photo. Oh, my gosh. Soldier is a widower uh, and a foe is sick, suffering a misfortune. And I don't know what that means exactly, except that it sounds like this um, third party woman who was trying to steal the life 
and love and opportunity for a family tree and a future that was bright and full of life. She tried, this soldier tried to, was going to make him a widower. They're a foe. They were going to marry him and then get rid of him and take all that he had. And now they're sick. They're suffering a misfortune. It could be that this, they do this falseness constantly. This is something they do on a regular basis. They're sick in the head. So the room card is my mind card. They're sick. They're, they're having mental disturbances or they're really having some troubles. Well, that's good news. Yay, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups had the um, illusion that this third party had cast over him. I don't know if it was some sort of a spell or whatever, but whatever kind of illusion it was, he found out that this third party was not what he wanted when it came to getting a soul contract for a family. And he is free of this enemy. It could be that his mind is free from this enemy. Like maybe they were messing with his mind. They might have done some sort of mental magic trying to bind him into this contract. But it's been busted. It's been busted. That illusion is gone. That illusion is gone. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Magician, or whether they're a team or they're three, you know, two or three, but they're closing the wheel out on this cycle. Oh! Well, <clears throat> I hope this clarifies something that you already intuitively knew, and I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye!